Hey, hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Hopefully all of y'all are having a great day thus far. It is, uh, what is it, Wild Wednesday already? It's hard to believe it's already hump day. Um, uh, let's see, we got a fantastic one today. It, speaking of hump, it's got lots of humping in it. And that it's from 1979, so it came out the year before I was born. Uh, very, very good. Uh, and by the way... This is the uh, the Imperial two hour and thirty six minute release of it. Uh, it is starring Malcolm McDowell, Peter O'Toole, Her Dame Helen Mirren, Teresa Ann Savoy, Guido Manari, and of course Sir John Gilgood. Uh, and it, it is directed by Tinto Brass. And if you didn't realize who all of this was by reading it, it you would know it is Caligula. This is a very, very good movie. It's one of those that gets a lot of flack just because it's so pornographic in its sense. Uh, I wouldn't wouldn't uh, dismiss it just because it is hardcore pornography in it. Uh, it's definitely one you have to be very, very, very selective with who you watch it with. Um, I've made the mistake of watching it with somebody that I wish I didn't watch it with because it got a little awkward, I'm not going to lie. But this is a great film. I've seen it probably two or three t three times now, give or take. Um, which this release, like I said, it's the Imperial Edition. Slip box. Uh, look at those blue eyes there. And we got, we open her up, we got one, two, three discs on there. And we got a nice little, little booklet in there, talks about it, talks about Bob Guccione and uh, Tinto Brass and, and of course the rest of the cast. Very, very, very um, uh, in-depth uh, release for Caligula. This was released by Penthouse themselves. And, let me... There we go. I'll go ahead. There we go, guys. Go ahead and pause that, and you can take a gander at the special features. There's quite a few on here since it is a three-disc set. Uh, I also do own this on Blu-ray. I just decided to break out my DVD copy because I think it's cooler. Um, it's got the the embossed cover here. Um, the the uh, the Blu-ray is you know it's a single disc. Very, it, it's the same cover artwork, but it's just it doesn't have the embossed. It's not, it's not a sweet slip cover like so. It's just a very basic Blu-ray, in my opinion, with lots of special features though. Um, <clears throat> now, what would you say this is about? This is about Caligula Caesar, and he was a madman. He was a sexual sadist. Uh, um, the things that he did uh, while he was in in power were very, very debaucherous. Stuff that um, only legends are only uh, only uh, they would come up with. It's it's they were like the the Japanese are today. They come up with all the crazy porn stuff. Caligula and them, they did it for their time. Like like you go from stuff with. There's a lot, a lot of um, full frontal man in this, and like I said, this is a hardcore pornography. There is insert, there is um, uh, male on male love, there is female on female love, there is uh, uh, orgy scenes, there is a scene where a woman is getting um, spackled by a, by a few men's um, man goo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because it's good for the it's good for the skin, and at one point, Caligula even comes in and asks if and rubs it on on one of his 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 um, receding hairline spots and asks if it's good for for the hair. Which <clears throat> the original script did call for more of the homosexuality uh, to come out of Caligula. Uh, Malcolm McDowell, I'm guessing, refused to do a lot of it. Um, I did read that he was supposed to actually do a different sodom. Uh, he was supposed to actually penetrate him with his penis in the scene with the uh, um, the wedding scene when he decides he's going to deflower um, this male female bride and this this uh, couple will have on their wedding day, and he takes the virginity of the girl 
and he goes proceeds to go over to the man and he jams his hand in what looks like a bunch of cream or something like that, rubs it all over the guy's butthole, and proceeds to jam his fist in there. Ring and all, by the way. And the ring that he has is, it's a pretty good size piece of, piece of metal that's rolling on his fingers. That's going in through your butthole right about then. Um, he, of course, pulls it out, and it is just covered in blood. Uh, the guy is just in horrific, like, agony, which, you know, I don't blame him. That would hurt a lot. That's something that you don't forget. That's a pain that you will carry with yourself for the rest of your life, and you'll never forget it. Um, like, there's stuff like that. There's even a scene with um, Augustus Caesar, which who's played by Peter O'Toole, by the way, and he crushed it, dude. Oh, my God, he is so good in his role. Um He's sick and dying, and he's got lesions all over his face. He is full-on creepy uncle mode. Like, like it's it's weird. Um, like he call like he has his fishes as he calls them, and they swim around with him in the in this this uh, giant pool scene, and it's just madness, pure madness. And I imagine being on the set of this was was madness between between the relationships of Tinto Brass and Bob Guccione like those two I guess had a very heated relationship when they when they made this film which you know I've heard Tinto is a very very um he was very uh, uh stuck on what he wanted when he saw a vision in his brain that's what he wanted he didn't want anything else about it um <clears throat> Bob Guccione and him worked out lots and lots of things on this, but Guccione and him did not see eye to eye 100% on this film. And you can kind of tell in places because there's spots where the where the momentum kind of hiccups a little bit, but it picks right back up and and it never really loses its momentum. Um it just yeah, it just has a couple of little uh spots where it hits a couple of bumps, but that's about it. Um uh, as far back to what I was gonna say about Augustus, like there's this like disgusting scene where this man, this guard, has shown up drunk as hell on to his job, which that right there is, is a is a bad thing. You do not do that, um, and and so Augustus decides to feed him as more wine than he could possibly have. They tie off his penis. Um, and then they throw, put a funnel down his mouth and they continue to pour bucket after bucket after wine in there. The guy is so sloshed. Um, there's, I imagine he hurt inside because he couldn't piss. And they decide right after that they gut him. And then you see all this wine just pour out of this guy. It is just insane. Like there's even uh, decapitations in here. Like... Like this is one of those um I think a lot of people amongst the horror community skip over because of the cast and what it's about cuz they don't really realize the horrors that that did happen in those times and this this freaking shows it and I I hope more of you go out there and get a copy watch it you know, you'll probably end up watching it alone or if you have some friends that are okay watching hardcore uh pornography with their films you know because this is a film this is a very very good story there's just a lot of pornography mixed in through it um as far as what i would rate this thing on a technical side um it's it's polished as hell it's like a four uh entertainment it's a four this is it's bore you know what i'm gonna give it a five this is such a good film that I don't give out five like I've like I said before. I don't give out fives too often, and this one deserves it. So, with all that in mind, I hope you guys maybe look in, read in a little bit more about um, Caligula Caesar and and uh, Augustus Caesar and just the Caesar family and and see how debaucherous these people were and how how godlike they thought they were. They were they thought they were invincible. They thought they were untouchable. All right, y'all. Love your faces as always. Can't wait to see you to tomorrow. I got a fantastic one for you going classic old school horror on you. Um, 
it's one of my absolute favorites. I rewatched it last night, and I love it all. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm just debating on doing a Ryan Nicholson movie this week. If not, uh, I'll do one next week. I don't know. I, I think I'm I'm holding off until the unearthed releases of of his stuff. So, no Ryan Nicholson till then, guys. All right, you know. By the way, rest in peace, Ryan Nicholson. It's sad to hear that you died. Um, uh, a huge fan of your old, of your work. Um, yeah, hopefully, Unearthed brings out your stuff and crushes it like they always do, and give you a nice remembrance. That'd be that'd be awesome. All right, guys.